How's she going right there, eh? It's Denise here from Denise Loves the Outdoors. Back up the woodlot. My dad and I were up here. We uh, put the two gates up. So we get the gate right here. This is at the cabin site. So it didn't work out too bad. Both of the gates are pretty level, but the poles are a little off, but we got them as level as possible. Um, these are used gates, as you can tell, the bottom one there is kind of dented in. Um, but they should work. I'm going to have to get a piece of chain, probably about five, six feet. Usually what I do is I wrap a chain around with one lock. Um, these gates were a little bit narrower than than the, the other two gates. The other two gates actually lined up perfect. It's hard to believe, considering uh, I only used one pole and then we put the other gate on an old crooked tree. It actually worked out pretty good. Um, but anyhow, yeah, someday I might cut the top of that one there off. So it worked out pretty good. Um, this is what I was saying. This is kind of the swampy area. And this is all have been, this is what I corduroyed. So the reason why I put this gate in so that later on when I do have my stuff in here, my mill, and if anybody's going to take anything, either they got to go by water or they got to drive around through this swamp, which is not easy. That's really wet. Obviously right now it's not. But anyhow, quite pleased with that. Um, obviously the road here is going to have to come up about a foot or so. That's why we put the gates up really high. And those rocks, everything's in there, everything's frozen solid. And that's why in the last video they're wrapping up for the winter. So that's why I wanted all this stuff done before freeze up. And now I'll pause you for now and uh, I'll stop and show you at that other gate. All right, stand by. Okay, so I'm back. So this is the other gate. Um, yeah, so this is the road into the new property. This is just a service road. <clears throat> and uh, obviously the highway's right there. So like I said, Dad and I were just up here working on some gates. Um, yeah, so the deal was on this one, I could only get one pole in deep enough. So that pole went in a fair amount. I don't know, probably three, four feet. And then there's the other half of the pole that I was going to use. So of course I went over here to start digging and I got into bedrock. I only got down about a foot. So what I had to do is use a tree. And obviously the tree is not the straightest. And the gate is actually kind of kitty cornered a little bit, but anyhow, it worked. Um, so it's not a big tree by any means, probably six to eight inches in diameter. Yeah, so just bent a bunch of threaded rod. I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit. Yeah, some threaded rod. And then to level the gate, obviously the threaded rod is out farther on this end to make them perpendicular, straight up and down. And it actually worked out pretty good and we never thought that we would plan it this way, but it worked out perfect that they lined right up so I can put the lock right in there, kind of the way it's supposed to. So that worked out pretty good. Anyhow, I don't really plan on using this gate all that much to travel in and out of here, but I just want to slow some people down from trespassing and cutting in through here um, like I was showing the other day all in through here there's a lot of big cedar way in there and what I'm gonna do is cut a little trail so I can haul it out either go this way to the lake or I'll pull it out this way and then head down the service road this service road dead, dead ends to another gate which is the, the property that we own it's probably I don't know a kilometer half and a half two kilometers that way Anyhow, that's it for now. Oh, it just fell in a hole there. If you think of it, like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. That's the end there, eh?